The melt temperature measurement system developed by Rich Black and manufactured by Schmidt Prototypes. Hi, we'd like to introduce you to a new way of measuring melt temperature. It takes the human interface out of it and gives us consistent results. There are five components. We have an insulator cup that goes into the purge puck. Then the ring goes on top of that for holding everything in. Thermocouple and pyrometer. Now we're going to show you how to put them together and we'll take a measurement. First, take the insulator cup, put it in the purge puck. Then you take the ring, put it over the purge puck, got to line up, put it in center. There, that's the part. Now we put the thermocouple probe, insert it through the hole in the purge puck, and it'll bottom out, go all the way in. You must have it bottom out right there. Lock it in place with a little set screw, and we're done. It is important that the stop on the thermocouple probe goes all the way to the purge puck. Then you tighten the cap screw with the Allen wrench. Next, you take the connector and attach it to the pyrometer. With the apparatus assembled, we're ready to pull the carriage back, take a purge and melt temperature. Okay, so we're ready to take a purge. First thing we do is open the purge door, put the puck in. There's magnetically attaches, close the purge door. Now we bring the barrel in, get ready to make our purge and take our temperature. We inject, back up, and our pyrometer gives us the melt temperature. With peak. Ready? Yep. First thing you do is remove the set screw and pull out the pyrometer probe. And it comes out very, very clean because the material in the center of the puck, or the in center of the insulator cup, is completely molten. Push out the puck. And the insulator cup comes out clean. Before you take a melt temperature, you want to make sure you get everything assembled. Make sure you've got arm protection, insulated gloves, and then you're going to take the melt temperature. Thank you for your time.